Hey there guys, in this video we're going to be comparing cosine of sine of 1 with sine of cosine of 1. And we need to do that without using a calculator. But before we go on, consider subscribing and ring the bell to not miss my latest videos and smash the like button if you enjoy watching this. So in order to compare these two numbers, we need to compare two functions. Let's say f of x equals cosine of sine of x and g of x equals sine of cosine of x. So what we want to do is to compare f of 1, which is this, with g of 1, which is this. And in order to do that, we need to compare f of x with g of x. Because by doing that, we're going to be able to compare f of 1 with g of 1, we're going to be able to say which one of these two is the larger one. Now, in order to compare these two functions, let's go ahead and talk about these two at x equals 0. Let's go ahead and evaluate f of 0 and g of 0. So f of 0 is equal to cosine of sine of 0. Now, since sine of 0 is 0, this equals cosine of 0, which equals 1. And g of 0 is going to be sine of cosine of 0, which equals sine of 1. Now, we don't know the exact value of sine of 1, but we know that this is a quantity less than 1. So we have found that f of 0 is 1 and g of 0 is less than 1. So if I combine these two, I can say that f of 0 is greater than g of 0. So let's keep this in our mind because this is going to be useful later on. And now let's go ahead and find the intersection points of these two functions. And in order to do that, we need to set f of x equal to g of x. So from that, I can say that cosine of sine of x equals sine of cosine of x. And then notice that we know that sine of alpha can be replaced with cosine of pi over 2 minus alpha. Therefore, if I use this identity here, I can say that cosine of sine of x equals cosine of pi over 2 minus cosine of x. Now at this point, we have two cosines on both sides of the equation. Therefore, I can solve this and say that sine of x equals 2k pi plus or minus the quantity pi over 2 minus cosine of x. And we know that k is an integer. Now from this, we will have two scenarios, either sine of x equals 2k pi plus pi over 2 minus cosine of x, or sine of x equals 2k pi minus pi over 2 plus cosine of x. Now, let's go ahead and move these cosines to the left hand side. So we will have sine of x plus cosine of x equals 2k pi plus pi over 2 and sine of x minus cosine of x equals 2k pi minus pi over 2. Now notice that k is an integer therefore if I replace k with integers I can say that sine of x plus cosine of x can be equal to pi over 2 or negative 3 pi over 2 or 5 pi over 2 or negative 7 pi over 2 or etc. And sine of x minus cosine of x can equal to negative pi over 2 or 3 pi over 2, or negative 5 pi over 2, 
or 7 pi over 2, or etc. So if you look at these patterns, we can clearly say that the absolute value of sine of x plus cosine of x is at least pi over 2. It is greater than or equal to pi over 2. And the same thing goes for the absolute value of sine of x minus cosine of x. This is also greater than or equal to pi over 2. And notice that pi over 2 is approximately 3.14 divided by 2, which equals 1.57. Now, notice that we all know that the absolute value of sine of x plus or minus cosine of x is always less than or equal to the square root of 2, which is approximately 1.41 which means that square root of 2 is always less than pi over 2. So based on this, these cannot be possible. So none of these two equations can be possible. Therefore, there is no solution at all. So I can say that there is no solution. So to recap all of this, I can say that f of 0 is greater than g of 0, and there is no intersection. Therefore, I can go ahead and say that f of x is always greater than g of x for any value of x, right? This is completely obvious. Therefore, I can say that f of 1 is greater than g of 1, which means that cosine of sine of 1 is greater than sine of cosine of 1. Now, if you happen to use a calculator, you can see that cosine of sine of 1 is approximately equal to 0 0.66 and sine of cosine of 1 is approximately equal to 0 0.51 which validates what we have just shown here great this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching this video please consider subscribing for more contents like this Hopefully I will see you later, goodbye for now.